In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable a command bar button on selection of a record. Now, this is a simple model driven app named as Minerals. Now, I'm referring to one of the table Minerals over here, and you can see the custom button which I have created called as Notify Staff. So, if I click on Notify Staff over here, then a notification appears at the top. If I click on it again, then I have notification listed. So as you see over here, I can see a lot of notification and then notification disappears after a some period of time, which I've already set in the application. So I'll just click on next, notify, notify, and then this notification disappears, right? But my use case currently for this particular video is that I want this button to be selected. Uh, uh, like say if i select a record then only this button should show so if i select a diamond then this button should show or maybe if i select iron then this button should show now in order to do that what you need to do is like first navigate to the application so if i go into the application and the application name is mineral app i'll click on edit and here uh, in the mineral app i have this uh, navigation for the table i will click here and i'll click on edit command bar main grid is a command bar which i'm editing because i will be in the main grid so this is the main grid now here i've already created this button if i select this button under action run formula if i click on open formula i can see that i will be getting all staff notification of lorem epson right i can change this command i can uh, put some more text around it all good okay but the use case is that if i select something over here then only this button should show now if i haven't selected anything i can still see the button this shouldn't be the case so for that what you need to do is like you need to select this button and then under visibility of show you need to select show on condition from formula now based on the formula you can show the result so what i want is like if someone select just a one record then i need to see so for that you will write a command called as count rows so you need to type in the command count rows and self dot selected dot all items equal to one so that means what we are doing over here is like if you select one record then only you will be able to see the notification all good click on save and publish and it might take some time for this published data to appear within your model driven app so we have to be a bit patient on that because it's currently updating the component library and at the same time publishing the record as well so once that is done you should be able to see that record selection so let me refresh this application so i'll do a control f5 So till the time this published state appears uh, on the model driven app, you should be not be able to see that ribbon bar. Now I can see this ribbon. Now, as you see over here, that button has disappeared, right? Now I haven't selected anything that button has disappeared. If I select one record, then I should be able to see this button, right? This is what I intended to do. So if I select say plutonium, if I select, if I, remove the selection if i select diamond then i can see this button now if i click on this button i should be able to see the notification right so i can see all the notification now let's do one thing let me uh, get rid of this notification quickly so let me close this notification okay so all the notification gone now if i select one record i should be able to see that button now if i select another record then that button is gone right so it only appears when the but only one button is selected so i can see for this but if i select this that button is gone now what if i want it to be uh, that button to be appear if i select say more than two records so if i select say three records then i should see that button so what if that is the condition it's simple what we can do you can go into this here and you can just say if count rows is greater than two then only show this button okay so that means if it is greater than two so it need not be two but it should be more than two so if i select three or more selection then that button should be visible so i'm just saving and publishing it uh, and then once this publish is done 
I should be able to see the result. So it's still getting published. So if you do not see anything on your uh, ribbon, then it's still processing that action, which we have just did like a couple of seconds ago. So that's saving and publishing. And then once that is done, we should be able to see the changes. So what we have done, we have changed the criteria that if someone selects a record and if that record selection is more than two, then only I should be able to see that button. So this is how you make use of count rows function to basically uh, 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 count the record selected and then on basis of that you are making the visible property of that button to be available right so let's refresh and see still processing i think it's done now so if i just refresh it again i should be able to see the uh, ribbon now in the root nothing is selected you can't see that button i select one record i can't see that button click on second i can't see the button however if i select third one i should be able to see the button and i can run the action so now what we have done is like if the record selected is more than two that is three or beyond then it will be available so what if i select fourth record still it is available five six seven it is available but the moment you select zero record it is not available one record not available second record not available but for third this will appear so this is how you make use of count rows function to basically uh, allow that selection now this is useful when you are doing some bulk operation so if you are doing a bulk operation for a record and if you do not want to use it to select just one record and do that bulk operation this will be a helpful pick for the uh, system to decide that if it is more than x record then i will enable the bulk operation for my application so that's it folks this is one of the video for the command bar thanks for watching